Hello guys, that is Sorcery here again, and the long-awaited 1.5 redstone empty has finally arrived. I'll be covering all the major features, so let's get started. So the first major feature is that the longest screen no longer has the texture pack option. The texture pack option can now be accessed in the option menu. This supports HD texture packs, and any non-use texture packs will automatically use the default texture pack now. A new nether quartz has been added into the game. These quartz can be found all over the nether. You can even use these quartz to make decoration blocks. The decoration blocks can be further crafted into slabs, stairs, pillars, and even chiseled versions. Lava now flows extremely fast in the nether and in the end. Lava has a new texture change. Abandoned mineshafts now spawn minecarts with chests, rather than just spawning chests. Creative mode potions have now been organized. Water no longer needs a block underneath it to create an infinite source block. You can now craft sleets of snow using snow blocks. Sheets can be placed on the floor in different layers, and every single layer will yield one snowball when dug out. The range of beacons have been increased to the maximum of 50 blocks for the tier 4 beacon now. Stairs and slabs had their lighting reworked. You can now run up stairs. Netherrack can be smelt into nether brick now, and you can use the nether brick to make nether brick blocks. Vegetation now requires 2 to 4 bone meal to grow. All mobs no longer walk over rails unless they are pursuing a player. Skeletons have a longer range of 16 blocks rather than 10. Skeletons shoot faster the closer you get to them. Zombies will alert other zombies within a radius when they see another player. Zombies will do more damage as their health is lowered. Zombies will now burn players if they touch them. A new redstone block has been added to the game. It's crafted by using 9 redstone dust. It acts as a redstone torch that can be pushed with pistons. A new block called the hopper has been added. Crafted using 5 iron ingots and a chest, these items can place and take items from other hoppers, chests, furnace, dispensers, and many more. A new block called the dropper has been added to the game. This acts as a dispenser, but it will always throw the item rather than shooting it out. A new block called the Daylight Sensor has been added into the game. This block would give a redstone signal based on the intensity of the sun. The closer it is to noon, the stronger the signal. The closer it is to night, the weaker the signal. Minecarts can now have hoppers, TNT, or mob spawners. However, a mob spawner can only be added using a third-party software. New activation rails will activate minecarts on TNT. The minecart with TNT will explode violently the faster it goes. However, it will not destroy the rail in the process. A new redstone comparator has been added to the game. The redstone comparator has a few usages and to make it less complicated, I will give you guys the abridged version right now. If signal A, the signal from behind, is stronger than signal B, the remaining signal will be carried as the output. If signal B is stronger than signal A, no input will be given. If the comparator is right clicked, it will subtract the difference between B from A. However, this will only work if A is still stronger than B. A redstone comparator can also input a redstone signal from a jukebox based on the music disc used. Each music disc has a different level starting at the gold disc with 1 and ending with weight at 13. Redstone comparators can also be placed next to things like brewing stands, chests, dispensers, and many more that will give a signal based on the items and the content. A new block called the trap chest has been added to the game. Trap chests will give a very small redstone signal when opened. Weighted pressure plates have been added with two variant forms. The first form is using gold and the second form is using iron. The gold pressure plate takes 60 blocks to be fully charged, while the iron takes around 600 to be fully charged. Renaming mobs, chests, or command blocks will display the modified name. 
Inventory management and crafting has been greatly improved. Holding right click on a stack and dragging it will put one of that item in every single slot. Double clicking an item will automatically stack all of that item in your inventory into one stack. Holding left click while dragging will evenly divide the items into the selected slots. Pressing Q while in the inventory screen will now drop the items. Right clicking an item in the inventory will equip it. A new command block argument for test 4 has been added. This acts as a player detection command within the given radius. If a comparator is next to a command block that is activated with a true statement, it will give off a small redstone's current. A new scoreboard system has been added to the game. This can be used in PvP or PvM to count how many kills a person has achieved from another player or mob. Lastly but not least, new death messages have been added to the game for various ways of dying in Minecraft. So that pretty much concludes all the major features for 1.5. So if I'm missing anything important, there's always the Minecraft wiki down below for you guys to go check out, including all the bug fixes and minor updates. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, it'd be awesome if you guys took half a second to like this video, and possibly favor this video, as this video took me a very long time to do, and it'd be highly appreciated. Lastly, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for daily care videos, and more snapshot reviews and update reviews in the future. In the description down below, I have a playlist of all the snapshots leading to the 1.5 update. So if you want to check them out, go for it. So besides that guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, other than that, talk to you guys later. Goodbye.